everyone, it's Shauna. Welcome to Vlogmas number eight. I'm back at the dog park with the one and only, the Jax, who has a stick. Um, it's Saturday, so of course, classic meme at the dog park with Jax is actually my last day with Jax. How sad, him and his mama. I'm moving, I'm not sure where, but they're moving. This is my last time seeing Jax. Because it's your last time seeing Jax. Oh well, they're, the videos of him from before, they're forever, so he's not going anywhere. So yeah, I'm at the dog park. Um, this clip from the dog park is probably going to be the only clip in this vlog this video because I haven't filmed anything else. Didn't film anything else yesterday or earlier today, and this has to go up this afternoon. So, so much for not filming, editing, and uploading on the same day. Um, so yeah, I'm at the dog park, and not much is going on. It's Saturday. Christmas is next Friday, which is not very far away at all, uh, which is crazy to me that Christmas is like six days away, like in a week it'll be Boxing Day. It'll all be over. How crazy. Um, yeah. So, what's new? What's new? Um, this is why for my last video I did all those questions, because I really don't have anything to talk about. I don't have anything to show you, because I don't do anything. You know what I mean? Um, so, I'm just, keep looking around, because there could be other people around, and like, not that I really care, but in the woods by myself, filming myself talk to a camera, it's a little weird. Let's show Jaxion, because he's cooler than me. He's also trying to get a root out of the ground. Get it, Jax. Get it. Get it, Jaxi. Get it. Oh, so cute. Get that root. Get that root. Look at this stuff. Get it, Jaxi. Get it. Get it. Get it. He can't get it because it's a root. And he doesn't know that. He just knows that it's something stick-like, and he wants it. Determination. He's given up though. He didn't care anymore. He's like a child. He has a very short attention span. I mean, he's only like two or three. So he basically is still a child. Um, what's new? What's new? So, finished binge watching Friends for like the 45th bazillionth time in my life. And I started Two Broke Girls. I'm already on season three. I, that was like a week ago that I finished Friends and so started Two Broke Girls. Um, I'm already on season three. Just started season three last night. Uh, or this morning. Or last night. I don't remember. Uh, it's really good though. It's it's a good show. I've watched it before. I just I fell kind of behind. I don't think I... I think I watched like half... Up to halfway through season three. And then... Or maybe at the end of season three. I don't know. But I think I saw season four and I haven't watched any of season five. So I'm just rewatching it so I can watch the whole thing because that's what I do. Classic me. Uh, let me know down in the comments some other shows you guys think I should binge watch on like Netflix or Show Me or whatever. Because um, I'm always looking for new shows to binge watch um, or to re binge watch as the case may be. Um, so Star Wars came out yesterday. Guess who has never seen any of the Star Ow! Oh! He walked by with a stick and there was like a pointy thing out of it and I got caught on my pants and he scratched my leg and pulled my leg. No. There, I threw the stick. Ow, that hurt. Anyway, Star Wars came out yesterday. Um, haven't seen any of the Star Wars movies. Um, so I don't have any plans to go and see the new one. But I've heard that it's really good. I've heard that people who are really into Star Wars really like this one. So that's good. I'm happy for you guys. Um, I said to my mom and I were talking about it. How much money is already made? Like it came out yesterday. How much money it's already made in the last like week and in pre-sale tickets and blah blah blah. It's like the biggest movie ever, and people are like freaking out about it. She was like, I just don't get it. And I was like, I mean, I've never seen Star Wars, so I don't personally get it for this movie. But I was like, but if they came out with a new Harry Potter movie, like I would get it. You know what I mean? Like or like something that I'm really into. If something new came out, like I get it. So, um, yeah, I get it. I mean, I don't want to see it I, I haven't seen the other six but like i get it um but yeah if you guys have seen the new star wars you can say in the comments what you think uh no spoilers obviously not that i am gonna see it or i would even know what a spoiler what is and is not a spoiler because i don't know anything about the movie um but just for the people reading it no spoilers um yeah oh so 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 I told you guys that I finished binge watching Friends, and I've like I've seen it a bazillion times. Every time I rewatch it, I have like new thoughts about it. And like first of all, ow! Jack's got me again with another stick. Um, first of all, so Monica and Chandler are like my OTP. Like they are the best together ever. And like rewatching the first four seasons when they're not together just doesn't make any sense. Like 
she's with Richard and he is with Janice and then with Kathy and back with Janice again and like I'm just you two are supposed to be together and I hate it and like Ross and Rachel are the most annoying couple ever they're like on again off again on again off again he gets married to the worst Emily is the worst the absolute worst I like they're a cute couple but they're like super annoying but then watching it I was like Phoebe I guess she marries Mike in season 10 and like there's the whole on again off again thing with David like every time he's back they're they end up together but it's like other than Mike she doesn't really have any serious relationships throughout the series you know what I mean and I feel bad for her but then she marries Mike so then it's like oh okay it's okay but then Joey like he does not have one serious relationship for the entire show like him and Rachel are together like he was like in love with her but they weren't actually together and then they were together for like a week after Barbados and then like he was with Kathy before Chandler was with Kathy, but that was only like three episodes that they were together. Hi, I'm back. I'm at a different tree, but I'm back. Someone walked by with a dog, so I had to stop and be all like awkward and pretend I wasn't talking to myself in the woods. Um, yeah, so it's just you watch the show and you're like, poor Joey doesn't have one serious relationship. And it's not even like, it's not even like at the end he's like with someone and then you can be like, well, maybe he ends up happy. He just doesn't, poor Joey. Like I always, when I watch the show, I'm like, I am Chandler. Like everything he says, I'm like, I am Chandler. But then at the same time, I'm like, maybe I'm Joey. Maybe I'm not gonna meet a Monica. You know what I mean. Maybe I'm just Joey. Anyway, um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Friends, but it's a great show. Um, also, realized the other day, against every good thing in the world, I think I'm a believer now. I don't know how this happened, but all of his new songs, like, uh, what do you mean, sorry, and love yourself. Like, I love all of them. I don't know how this happened, guys. I think I'm a believer, and I'm not okay with it. Jax, how do you feel about it? He doesn't feel anything. He doesn't care. He's not a believer. He's a dog. So, yeah. Those are just thoughts. Thoughts I had in my brain. I interrupted, then I got all, all off the, off my train of thought. That's what it's called. Those are the words. Train of thought. Um. Yeah. Oh, Jax is fighting with something. You okay there, bro? Jax, you okay? You okay, bro? You okay? Got some crazy hair going on, bro. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I feel sorry for Joey. He doesn't end up with anyone, and I'm a believer. I guess I should probably go now. Um. Jax is taking off, and I think I hear other dogs barking. So I'm going to go. Uh. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the rest of my vlogmas videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.